Good day, my friends, and welcome back for another video. I'm Jan Kioska 6, Delta X ray Echo, and today we're gonna take a quick look at my finished VLF app converter project. Uh, well, if you're into VLF or you want to make your first steps in uh, in VLF and you don't have a receiver capable of uh, receiving VLF signals, this might be the project for you. Just because this one will convert the VLF signals up to the 30 meters band, so pretty much 10 megahertz. It's easy to build, it doesn't require too many components and the performance is really, really nice. So let's take a quick look at this one and I think it might be in your interest, especially now when the SAQ transmission will be on December 24th. So over here I have all the external hardware that I'm going to use for this project um, and, uh, and the battery, I'm going to use this one too. But uh, now I think I'm going to go and uh, build a quick uh, wooden enclosure for this project. I believe on the last video that I posted on the VLF app converter I was using the Manhattan style version uh, which was just a test version to make sure that uh, the app converter works fine. And uh, here we are, it's ready, now it's time to put it in, um, in the enclosure. Now usually I start with the woodwork and I make an enclosure. I made this one out of plywood. Ideally I wish I had some uh, walnut or some strong essence wood uh, that would look good and you know I wouldn't have these lines over here but it is what it is. I'm using this thin plywood. Uh, I'm drilling all the holes, uh, I'm gluing everything together. This one usually takes me the longest just because I have to wait for the glue to dry overnight. But yeah, it's very simple, it's nothing complicated um, and it's, uh, these are easy to build. So yeah, this is the way it looks. I'm drilling all the holes and uh, after that uh, I'm going to uh, test fit all the hardware uh, to make sure that everything fits. But so far it looks good, I'm happy with this one. Uh, I have to do the aluminum plate, the, the one that comes in the front right now. So I'm going to cut a piece of aluminum and uh, once uh, that it's fitted, I'm just going to file the edges uh, to make sure that it fits perfectly, then drill all the holes um, in the corners and I think my enclosure is ready. So yeah, everything fits. Uh, now basically all I have to do is just to uh, finish up the wiring. But before I'm finishing the wiring, I'm going to remove everything and uh, do some final uh, beautifying touches on the wood. Probably with some uh, flame torch and after that, mm, I don't know, maybe a little uh, color and some oil. And that should do, it should make it look good enough. Before we carry on, I'd like to say a big thank you to my friends at PCB Wave for the quick delivery of these PCB boards which allowed me to finish building this project just in time for the SAQ transmission. They have great PCB prototyping services, PCB assembly, SMD stencils, CNC, 3D printing and a lot more available for you. And now is the time to take advantage of the Christmas and New Year sales where you can have a bunch of free coupons, you have a lot of discounts for various products and services and this is the best time of the year to order from PCB Way. If you don't have an account for PCB Way, have a look in the video description and you'll find a link where you can register and you'll get a discount on your first order. As I'm always saying, PCB Way is the way. So my little VLF up converter project is done. I finished everything. I even painted it a little bit. I gave it a little bit of a vintage look. And uh, before I'm placing all the final screws on the um, case, I just wanted to double check uh, to make sure that it works and uh, see if I have to make any adjustments to the trimmer capacitor. I did all the wiring. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, give it a quick test. It actually works. <laughs> so um, I'm going to connect it to the transceiver and to the antenna. And uh, before I do that, I wanted to um, tell you a quick tip, maybe, just in case you didn't know. Um, you know, I have 
I, I'm using most of the time. I'm using this one with a, a 20 meters uh, band vertical antenna, but uh, many times uh, because I connect the NFED half wave and I don't want to go outside and disconnect and move the coax cable from one antenna to the other one. I don't have an antenna switch yet. Uh, if if I'm using it with the NFED half wave antenna, it will not work because of the impedance transformer and the way the connections are made over there. So uh, uh, what you have to do it's pretty much uh, simply connect just the center uh, wire of the coax to the uh, to the VLF up converter. So for that reason, I placed here. Uh, this is the antenna input, the VLF input. This is the HF output. And I also put uh, on the input a simple um, uh, connector over here uh, that I can, I'm using just the center wire pretty much. So I'm connecting that one instead um, from the, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to show you uh, my um, RF choke and I, I have a connection over there uh, that uh, outputs a signal strictly for this VLF up converter. And that's the reason. So basically, I'm just using the center wire of the coax, and this way it works even with the NFED half wave antenna. Um, that's why I missed the SAQ transmission last time. It took me a couple of days to figure out that out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway, let's put it together and uh, see how it works. Uh, before I move on, I wanted to show you the RF choke as well. So, this is the input. This one comes from the antenna, this one goes to the TX. Um, or transceiver whatever I'm using and I have two separate outputs over here the HF one it's the identical to the um, to the BNC it's just that I'm using a different connector just in case I want to connect some other strange radios um, so I have both the uh, out outside braid connected and also the inside the center on the VLF side, it's only the center pin connected, uh, just the center pin of the BNC, and this is the one that gives me the signal for the um, um, for the VLF up converter when I'm connected it to the um, uh, NFED half wave antenna. We connected uh, this one to the antenna uh, through this cable, and then the coax cable goes through the transceiver and i already have the transceiver on the 30 meters band so 10 megahertz and uh, let's see if it actually works one test that i do is to see if i can receive the time signal from uk on uh, 60 kilohertz so let's try to do that really quick okay so i'm receiving it good quality signal only that i have to I have to do a slight adjustment on the trimmer capacitor because this is the way it's supposed to sound. Okay, sounds much better right now. <laughs> So this is it. Now I can uh, put the cover and uh, put the screws and I'm ready. Okay, ready. All the screws are in <clears throat> and uh, it's finally finished. So let's do a quick demo and see uh, what can we receive on VLF. Besides the time signal. So let's go down in frequency a little bit. A lot lower and uh, see whatever we can receive I'm gonna go all the way down first let me put the volume up I haven't received the uh, alpha navigation system on 11.9 uh, kilohertz for quite some time right now ah oh, there you go Well, I do now. <laughs> and it sounds great. And I believe on 1209, there was another one, but...
Yeah, I have to change the... Nothing here. Back to 11.9. Let's go to 1265. There you go, another one. So this is the, the Alpha Navigation System, I believe it's for submarines. I'm just at uh, the beginning in VLF, I'm still trying to figure out what, what, <laughs> what's what. Uh, let me change the frequency step again, so I can go a little faster. I don't know what, I have on 15 kilohertz, but it's strong signal. 16.4, uh, there should be something else. But I'm not getting anything right now. 17.2. That's uh, the frequency that we're going to use for the SAQ transmission. And I cannot wait for that. It... Wow, this is loud. <laughs> Eighteen point ten. This is another VLF network, uh, Russian. Eighteen point two. It's a different signal. Eighteen point nine should be another one, but there's nothing right now. Nineteen point six. Nineteen point six. I'm gonna put the, the link in the video description anyway to all the stations and where I get all the information f about the stations. On 20.27 uh, should be something else. Yeah, there's another one here. 20.50 But it's quiet. 20.9 Still quiet or weak signal, I'm not sure. So that's it for today. I hope you liked today's video. I hope you found this project useful. Uh, don't forget to come back on December 24th when we will be portable with this VLF app converter. And I'm going to test it with a couple of um, options, uh, various antennas and uh, see how well it performs when portable, not just uh, home in my, uh, in my QTH over here. So um, yeah. I'm excited, I can't wait for the transmission and I hope this time I will not mess up anything like I did last time. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, 73 from Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-Ray Echo.